Hundreds of people around the world are injured permanently or die at the hands of people who sell fraudulent diet products. These criminals are cashing in on people's desire to be skinnier, slimmer even, and more beautiful, and governments aren't doing anything about it, even when they fine individuals or companies millions of dollars. These companies are back on the streets, even using their own names just a few months or years later. Here to tell us a little more about it is Dr. Patrick J. Tracy, medical director of the Aylesbury Clinic in Ballsbridge in Dublin, and fresh from his uh, recent media award. Congratulations on that. Well, thanks very much indeed, Evan. Um, yeah, I mean, there are a heck of a lot of products. When we went to research this, one search engine gave up 576,000 items when you popped in the words diet pills. And you see all these wonder cures advertised in the tabloids, full page ads, which means they cost big money. And for $39.99, for $29.99, you can slim while you're asleep, you can slim while you eat, you can slim while you drink. It has to be a scam. It's amazing, really, and Aidan, at the end of the day, it is a scam. The um, diet pill stroke sort of um, patch industry in America is $30 billion worth, and um, the FDA, the FTC, the Competition Bureau have been following these people for years. It all started off in Canada in 1996 when Patrice Runner, Patrice by Runner by name and Runner by nature, may I say, sort of started off with the svelte patch. Um, when the authorities um, caught up with her, she moved to Florida with the slender patch, then moved to Buffalo then back to Florida again, split into different companies. And since that, she's re-advertised everything and has had the cheek to almost to use exactly the same advertisement <laughs> with different names. Um, oh, uh, 13 different products. How much has she made? We know millions, <laughs> millions. It's difficult to know. Now, what, what does she claim the patch does? What are, people, what are people actually fooled into thinking that they put this patch on? How does it work? Whenever you see the word breakthrough, miracle, effortless... Run. Run, absolutely. Okay, you lose They're all scam. Yeah. And, and some of the products in it actually can be quite dangerous. There's a patch doing the rounds in Ireland at the moment called La Patch. You can trace its history all the way back to Canada again. Um, some of the compounds that are in it, I mean, I'm going to Italy in, in a couple of hours and flying to the airport to go down... Um, along the sort of um, Adriatic coast and it's the products that all, almost sound like the towns there, Polina, Kampala, Gurana, Cambodia and um, these products actually, if we look at the Gurana, Cambodia, what it actually is is just HCA, hydro, hydroxycitric acid and a recent study, well 1998 in the Journal of American Medical Association which is one of the big sort of journals in medicine took 139 sort of subjects, gave them sort of HCA, and actually some people during the study put on weight, not, not lost it. Okay, which, which is common enough, I suppose, in some, some of these cases. Um, the patches and the pills, I mean, we read recently when some of the American footballers were back pre-season training, one of them had been taking an ephedrine supplement and died of heat exhaustion. Is this Absolutely. on the other side ephedrine of it? Absolutely. is one of the commonest ones, if you look at it on the internet at the moment, and it comes in many different forms. Ha, ma, hung, and ma, Huang, as yeah. you know, it goes under the, the, the different names like this uh, as, as a herbal substitute. Now, there are a lot of people watching this program are using mm -hmm. that. It's a supplement. That's the way they get around the, the, the drug rules in America, I believe. If you look on the internet site, it says on and on the bottom, FDA does not approve this. And yeah. actually, that one will patch, believe it or not, Dr. Michael Canning, who sort of was the doctor on, on the site, when he was followed up, he wasn't even a doctor and he had no, his resume was totally made up. But on the set, they also had evidence saying that the doctor on this is, is, is only made up. So in the small okay. print, they often sort of try and cover the All right, now, ephedrine would be a multi-million dollar industry, not only in the States, sure. but right across the world. So, so the pro-ephedrine brigade will obviously have a big budget to spend in defending sure. their products. Oh, and, but they will say that, like, that of the millions of bottles we sell, mm -hmm. There are few and far fatalities proven that these are people who are taking the tablets that may have a heart problem, that may have a susceptibility to stroke or something. Sure. So what do you say to that? Well, that, that is true to an extent. There's no doubt about it in that Ephedra and the FDA have been chasing their heels um, for a number of years now. And there has been suspicion of deaths rather than sort of um, document yeah. evidence. If we even look, I just this morning sort of... Um, on, on, sort of on, on my way here, yes, okay. to an extent sort of... Um, R run through a couple of things. Okay. Medically at the moment, those little three tablets at the front um, is, is what we sort of normally had. Okay. The one on the sort of left is Reducto and um, widely sort of used in Ireland. It's the only prescribable thing we have at the moment, but a suspicion of deaths with it as well. It has been pulled in Italy and a suspicion that it's going to be pulled in some other European countries. Okay. The FDA may pull it. Ionaman, the one in front, Duramin, everybody in Ireland knows it because I mean, it was one thing that worked. But um, it was the one that sort of caused people to be up late at night and the, being very sort of cranky. And slightly and, yeah. Ir irritable, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The European agency sort of pulled it, you know, throughout Europe last year. They even went into all the pharmacies, pulled it throughout okay. Ireland. Xenical, the sort of blue one uh, on the right-hand side, um, it works to an extent, but a lot of people have side effects. Now, the side effects, you induce yourself. Your stools can't float if you sort of take fat. 
May I say also, just I was in Tesco's <laughs> earlier, okay. and a lot of the low fat sort of, you know, things, I wouldn't say they're a scam, but as we sort of learn more and more about actually how dieting works, we're discovering that actually low fat may not necessarily mean low losing fat, weight. Yeah, okay. We got to look at carbohydrates here. There's, as we know, there's two different types of fats, bad fats and good fats. We got to look at it also. There's good carbohydrates and bad okay. carbohydrates. And may I say that if we take the refined foods, the white foods, that normally what it's doing is it's um, causing insulin to sort of come surging out into the bloodstream, scooping up all the sort of sugar that's around, and um, as a consequence, we get hungry and eat more. So what do you recommend then? Raw foods? Raw food is the big buzzword that's sweeping the states at the moment, at raw food restaurants, whereby all the food is made of natural ingredients within 30 minutes and brought to your table. It must be consumed within 30 minutes. Can I just give you a little analogy? Yes, please, yeah. Maybe. And if, if we sort of take um, Northern Ireland during the Troubles to an extent, and whenever sort of the paramilitaries had a big hit against the RUC, the army, the army came in, cleared the streets, and took all the guys, put them in prison, whatever, yeah. and suddenly graffiti went up everywhere because the ordinary paramilitaries who were controlling the streets weren't there. 